Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at Ebony Jasmine. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to my new watchers, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you end up subscribing at the end of this video. But nonetheless, I'm happy to have you here regardless. Still make sure to like, comment, share the video, send it to your friend, your mama, whoever. Get it out there for me guys, okay? All right guys, so this video is gonna be a little bit serious, just a little bit only because of everything that we have going on in the world right now. Um, I just wanted to give a little update on uh, how things are going with me here, give a little tech school update, and also give an update on this coronavirus that we are all unfortunately feeling the effects of and dealing with wherever you're at in the world, everybody's dealing with it. So I just wanted to give an update on that, how we're dealing with it here in the military. Um, how it is for me in tech school right now with that going on. So if you're interested to hear more about this, then stay tuned for the video. We're gonna get right into it. So really quick before I give update on coronavirus and stuff, I just wanna let you guys know some good news. I phased up to phase three, which is amazing. So phase three, I talked about tech school phases in my last video. Um, phase three is pretty much like not the highest phase you can have you can get to phase four but no one ever really gets that just because you got to be here like years and years to get phase four anyways though phase three um so now i don't have a curfew at all anymore i am able to travel a further distance i can go five miles or no five miles <laughs> that'd be down the street I'm able to go five hours um, away on like weekend leave and like short leaves like that, which five hours from here, the furthest is like LA. So everything else, like the Bay Area is like two hours north, LA is like five hours south. So like now I'm good, I can go wherever I need to go. Um, so yeah, no curfew, able to travel further. Oh, also now I can drive my car during the duty day. Before you couldn't drive your actual car during the duty day at all. You could only drive it once you were done for the day um, and you were off duty. But now in phase three, I'm able to drive during lunch. So I get like an hour and 15 minutes for lunch. So I can drive my car, I can run errands, I can go get food outside somewhere. Well, not right now with the coronavirus, but once this is all over, I can go out, get food, do what I wanna do during lunch in the middle of the day. It's a nice little like break in the middle of the day, you can do what you need to do. Um, it's really, really nice. I'm out of mandatory PT now because I scored above a 90 on my last PT test. So now I don't have to go to mandatory PT. I work out on my own whenever I feel like it, um, on my own schedule, which is nice. I'm not forced to be anywhere. Um, and then also I am out of morning formation. So morning formation is every morning, 6.45. You gotta be in uniform, you gotta be lined up, sized up all that and it's like super formal every morning 6 45. i don't have to do that anymore at least on phase three so now um i don't have anything to do until i have to be in class which starts at 7 55. so pretty much phase three is great you just have way more freedom like i said no curfew no one's wondering where you're at like i can stay out as long as i want do what i gotta do you know we're still responsible airmen i'm still you know i'm still gonna do what i have to do but it's just nice to you know not have as those restrictions anymore, you know? So that's great. Basically now I have a lot more time to myself. Um, so a lot of the mandatory things that were, you know, in my schedule that I was required to be at, I was required to do, I no longer have to worry about those things. So it's just, it's just great. So yeah guys, that is the update on me right now in tech school as far as phasing up. So now let's get into the nitty gritty of what is going on right now. So coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic going on right now it's absolutely horrible um, it's heartbreaking everything that's going on um so I just want to update you guys on how things are here in tech school so we are already like enclosed on a base right like we're in close quarters with each other I have a roommate we live in dorms together like we're in very close contact we eat at the same defect like just everything so right now, um, every single like day, there's new information being put out to us about like something that's changing or like something new they're implementing or like some more, you know, facts or whatever. As of right now, as it stands, we have a lot of restrictions put in place. So right now, everyone, no matter what phase you are, you are restricted to a curfew. Everyone has to be back in their rooms at 2200. 
every single day, seven days a week, including weekends. 2200 is 10 p.m. That is curfew, you can't leave after that. 2200 to 4 a.m. So seven days a week, that sucks. That means no more partying on the weekends. Other main restriction that we have is no weekend leave, which they're called 4392s. So no 4392s at all and no actual leave at all. So what that means, usually on the weekends, people will fill out a 4392 and they can leave for the weekend, go to, you know, San Francisco, go to, you know, Oakland, Bay Area, travel down to Los Angeles, whatever they wanna do, you can do that when you fill out a 4392 and then you just have to be back by Sunday night or whatever. None of that. Nobody's allowed to go anywhere. You're not allowed to take any sort of leave. You have to be back in your room at 10 p.m. every single day, including weekends. Um, the other thing, no more visiting in each other's rooms. So before, you could have visitors in your room, you know, like you have to have the door open or whatever, but you could have visitors in your room. You could uh, hang out with each other, like in the day rooms, which is like, like common areas on our hall. No more of that. No visitors at all, unless it's during class time in case someone like needs to do something with you in class or like they need your like you have better wi-fi than them or something like that which i'm going to get into that because now we're doing virtual classes that's a whole nother thing but no visiting each other at all besides for class purposes during duty hours um the other thing is the whole six foot rule so social distancing we're not allowed to sit together at the defects when we're eating. They're taking a whole lot of precautions here. We are no longer touching anything. All of your food is like put in like to-go containers. Um, there's people who are passing out like, you know, silverware and cups and filling your drinks for you. So that like they're minimizing like how many things like people are touching. Um, so it's getting a little bit extreme here. Um, you're not supposed to be in close contact with anyone. Some people are still doing it, obviously, because it's really hard to control what every single person is doing at every given second of every day. But the rule is that we need to be six feet away from each other at all times. Um, so yeah, they're cracking down more though on like sitting together and eating because they can physically like see you doing that. But like everything else, like people going to work out together or people like just going on a drive with their boyfriend and girlfriend, going to get, you know, some takeout food or whatever, like they can't really control that. But that is the rule that's in place right now. Um, so we can still leave the base for essential things. Um, so if you need to go get food, if you need to get like, you know, personal hygiene supplies, things like that, you are allowed to leave base. So we're not on that strict of a restriction yet to where we can't even leave at all. But I'd be lying if I said, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I don't wanna, you know, jinx it or anything, but I'm just being realistic at this point because it doesn't look like this is slowing down at all right now. And I know they wanna keep us as safe as they can just because we are more enclosed together and our teachers are like older. Um, so, you know, making sure that we're keeping like more vulnerable populations safe is really, really important here because most of our teachers are like, you know, in that sort of um, population. So the other thing is class. So now all of our classes are virtual. Um, as you guys know, I am at DLI, which is the Defense Language Institute, and I'm studying Arabic. I'm studying a language. Everyone here is studying a language. That's what we're here for. That's what our tech school is. We're linguists in the making. So doing that virtually now, like having to like learn a language in class that's virtual absolutely sucks. First of all, connection issues. Like you have to hear everything that, that your teachers are saying to you. So if you can only imagine that, like if like someone's having like bad connection or like they're they're choppy or like it's hard to hear exactly what they're saying like that sucks for us because we need to literally hear every single thing every single way they pronounce something like it's a different language so like it makes it that much harder trying to communicate virtually but you know we gotta do what we gotta do also like the teachers you know they're amazing i love my teachers but they're, they're older so like having to like figure out this technology and having to like use it and you know they're in their homes trying to figure it out so like it's just uh you know, it's, it's, it's been tough, but we're getting it done. Essential things are still open, you know, here on base. So like the post office is still open. You can still drop off mail, pick up your mail. Um, the dining facilities are still open, of course. The gym is still open to active duty personnel only. So 
um, they're just trying to limit like who's using what. I personally have only been working out outside. I refuse to go into a gym to work out when I can do exactly what I need to do outside in the fresh air not touching a bunch of things that other people are touching and not in close contact with people um so that's just my preference i haven't been using the gym i don't think that's really smart to still be using the gym but it's open as of right now um so california right now and a lot of other cities and states and places are on like you know shelter in place orders and things like that so they're trying to make sure that we follow that here so they've implemented like on top of that, extra kind of restrictions for us to follow here also. Everything is still business as usual to an extent, as much as they can. Um, you know, we're still doing our job, waking up when we're supposed to, going to class virtually. We're still in uniform, you know, during the duty day. We're still getting checked on by like sergeants and, you know, higher ups, all of that, making sure that we're still doing what we're supposed to do. So. They're still trying to keep it pretty, you know, normal here, but it's definitely, things are definitely getting real here. I know they are for everyone else in other places too. So that is the update on me right now, you guys, and what we're, we got going on here. Um, so I just want to make sure to say that I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I hope that people are, you know, practicing, you know, good habits, washing their hands, keeping away from other people um, and just staying safe. So thank you for watching this video, you guys. Um, thank you for tuning in and, you know, checking in with me and ch I'm checking in with you guys virtually, of course, you know, social distancing. But yeah, you guys leave comments below. Let me know how things are going for you guys in your city or state or, you know, whatever you're up to right now. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>